If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Showdown Alexandro to check out. Um, we're doing these reviews because we're reviewing a tactic at the same time, so I wouldn't have done these <laughs> because they're cheap, right? They're not like super expensive, but we'll be able to try them out in game and see what they're going to be like anyways, right? Um, okay, so with Alexandro, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is 3-star, three 3-star, three left-footed, uh, 5'11", unique body type while being a medium-high work-rated player. Uh, this card is definitely going to be played on the Shadow Chemistry style. We need to increase that pace to be... Um, as high as possible while working with better defensive capabilities. I do feel like that's probably going to be the main flex for this card in the future as well if he does end up getting the improvements because on the Shadow Chemistry style, um, it, it, if you look at the card on an anchor with 92 acceleration, 95 for sprint speed, it's not going to be super ideal, I feel like, for the long term to do something like this on the card, right? Because if he gets the improvements... You could potentially use that as like a center back, but like I said, he doesn't really have like defensive play styles to be played in that area. So it's probably gonna be a card that you keep on stay back while attacking for the most part in the left back position that could still potentially attack sometimes, right? This card on the shadow will be working with good pace, better uh, better defense, physical stats will still be in a decent area. Uh, dribbling will be experimenting with because of that unique body type five, five, five foot 11 height. Um, he does actually have some shooting capabilities. Now, whether or not we'll actually get into those sort of areas, we'll see because it's a card that is medium high in that specific area, right? Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. You know, passing stats is going to be in a good area too for the most part. So yeah, it's mostly going to be checking out defensive capabilities, what he's like on the attack, all that kind of stuff, right? So uh, yeah, we'll see what the card is like. Hopefully he is a beast. Nice job, Sandro. Ah, can get the body to body there. Nice. Let's go, guys. Good animation. Good web's fast though. Penalty. We'll take that. I should have gone the other direction there. Is it mine? Nice. Nice little double uh, law pass there. Oh, you better win that. I'd be in trouble there if you didn't get that. Good, good. You know, my boy Alexandra to be in that general vicinity. Ooh, nice try, nice try. Should 
should get to it first, right? Good. Good block. Gonna clear it out. Finish the game like that. Oh, we'll take it. Just give him a second, guys. Just give him a second. Give him a second. Don't worry. Give him a second. First to it. Nice. Good job, Alex. Goodness. So Sandro. First two at nice. First two at nice. Oh my goodness, you still register the right stick switching. You better get to that. There you go, good tackle. Not fast enough to get to that. Build up. Nice. Need that especially when you're under pressure. As uh, you know, the end of the game where you have no attacking AI, it's the best thing ever. I love it. Well done. Nice lot pass. Not too much there. Good stuff. Oh, and I don't score. Unlucky. Good cross, though. Where is the shot? Why do I have to control the ball first? I literally shot the ball before you received it. That should be a shot. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Alexandro card. So yeah, definitely a lot of potential to work with when it comes to Alexandro. Do I think he'll be better than someone like Reese James? Uh, no, I think Reese James for base card characteristics definitely has um, a few things that I definitely like working with more um, in comparison to the upgraded version of Alexandro. However... For 26k on this card, you really can't go wrong with his in-game abilities, right? As of right now, definitely feels like the type of card that, you know, obviously requires the upgrade for him to be as good as possible. Um, you guys know how it works with showdown cards. EA just has to drop some special sauce on him for, for him to be a really, really solid option at 26k. I mean, to be fair, if he does end up getting the win and they do get those improvements on the card and you can keep that shadow chemistry style on him, it'll still be very nice to work with because the thing about this card, right, is that 
I know that he has the whipped pass plus, but in a lot of formations, if even if you have like stay back while attacking, but you have the overlap instruction, sometimes they will find themselves in situations where they will utilize that whipped pass plus, which we were able to utilize sometimes when the car just couldn't get um, a goal with it, right? Definitely wants the pace to be a little bit higher. I will mention that right off the bat. Um, if he was a lengthy player, um, it would definitely be really nice to kind of push the pace a little bit more, but it's that initial acceleration that I personally need to be higher. If I can have 110 acceleration and sprint speed in this game with the way that it plays out with the R Trigger Merchants, I would definitely have it to be a little bit higher, right? But um, it would be that and the physical. I will mention that, again, as I mentioned earlier, if he was a lengthy on an anchor, it definitely would have added to the card because with the way that his physical is formatted, I do feel like I want that to be improved as well when I'm using the card, right? But um, on a shadow, he definitely feels like he has some pretty decent stuff to work with, especially at the price range of the card. Um, having Jockey Plus is definitely a really huge plus to work with when it comes to general movement. Um, and he did do a pretty solid job for me, even if he doesn't have a bunch of crazy play styles to work with, right? If it's a card that you keep on that stay back overlap instruction, he could definitely do a pretty solid job um, if you choose to use him in like your Serie A teams, you know? So um but yeah definitely another card that you know showdowns you guys know how i feel about these cards but it's a card that needs the upgrades as well for him to be really really nice in my opinion because as of right now you know i'd probably still rather use a kai havertz winter wild card as of right now but then if he gets the improvements he could be very very nice hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys